Hey guys, it's your the math person, and today I'll be going over question number 321 on SOA exam P. So let's just pause the video and try to solve this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you pause the video, let's just dive right into it. A loss is following exponential distribution with mean 1. So this is exponential with mean 1. Two, in, two, independent, two independent losses are observed. Calculate the expected value of the smaller loss. Okay, to solve this problem, this is what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the expected expected value of the minimum of the two losses. And I'm going to call these losses x1. Or, yeah, yeah actually, I, I call it x and y. Keep it simple. Keep it. This is what we're looking for. Or, I think it might it'll be easier to find. Whenever it's the losses, that means there must be a value for which the random variable for which the x is smaller than the random variable so we can just actually simplif simplify this to probability that x is less than or x is greater than some random some value x and the probability that the y is greater than some value x again does that kind of make sense i don't know if my explanation made a lot of sense but Basically, because in order to find the minimum, there has to be a random variable. For There must be a value of x, which is smaller than the random variable. Or at least that's how I think of it. But this is something that you should probably know for the exam P. Okay. And just keep going, just keep going. Because we know this is independent, we can actually split this up into its parts. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, I guess I think it'll be easier to actually find a complement because it's a cumulative function because x is a cumulative function like this, and we know that the probability function for exponential is equal to one over lambda e to negative lambda over or e to t over lambda, which we and we can just sub substitute the one in for the lambda. Then we get this is of f of x, which is equal to just e to the negative one or e to the negative t over lambda. So we can just put that in there. One minus e to the negative t or e to the negative x. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why I keep using different variables everywhere. Times e to the negative x. Well, this is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative 2x. As you notice, this is the CDF of um, an exponential function for which um, the mean is equal to half. Because you see it, again, the CDF of an exponential function is 1 minus e to the negative t over lambda so our lambda is going to be half so then we know that this is going to be expected value of the small loss is going to be b one half